Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss how to create a business email account for our website. So we will also discuss what is a business email account, why we should use a business email account instead of a public email account. So first of all, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately. First, let's discuss what is a business email account. So any email account which is associated with your business or with your domain name is called as business email account or we can also say it custom email account. So for example, my business email account is admin at the rate techyblogging.com. So techyblogging.com is my domain name and admin is a user which is associated with this domain name. So this is called as business email account or custom email account. Instead of this, if I am using admin at the rate gmail.com, then it will be called as a public email account because gmail.com is a public domain and uh, everybody in the world can create an email account in gmail.com. But creating a business email account is important because it will create the branding of your website. So if you are sending a mail and the user is uh, seeing that the mail has came from admin at the rate a custom domain name then it's look more professional and it create more trust. So you should always use a business email account while you are communicating to your visitors or with your customers related to your business or your website. Now the question comes how to create a business email account. So first thing we need is that a domain name. So if you have purchased a domain name from any domain provider or from a web hosting provider, then you can easily create a business email account. For example, I have purchased this techyblogging.com from my web hosting provider called ChemiCloud. So I will create a business email account in my domain name that is techyblogging.com. So ChemiCloud is a emerging web hosting provider. If you want, you can explore ChemiCloud as well. I will put a link in the description and if you want to purchase any hosting, then uh, definitely you can use the code given below which will give you 20% discount. So you can create a business email account from the cPanel of your hosting provider. Now the steps for creating a business email account for every domain provider is pretty much similar you just have to go to the cPanel of your web hosting account. So in my case, it's a ChemiCloud. So I will go to the cPanel section. Now this is how a cPanel looks like. You will have to find a section called email and uh, under email, you will have to find a option called email accounts. So just click on it. Here you will be able to see the existing email account. For me, admin at the rate techyblogging.com is already exist because I have created it. So I will create a new email account. For that, I have to click on create. Now I will give the username. I will give it as a support. So the email address will become support at the rate techyblogging.com. Now I will have to give a password for this email account. So the password has been accepted. I will have to specify the storage that this email account should consume. So you can give any custom size or you can select 2 GB. I will keep it as it uh, default because it's for a demonstration purpose and the rest of the things you can keep it as it is and click on create. So we can see that uh, a success message has appeared. You created support at the rate techyblogging.com and here also we are able to see it. Now if you want to see more options then you can click on manage. Here is our email account and uh, the storage that we have specified is showing here and we can also track how much capacity is being used by this email account and there is no restriction for this email account because receiving, sending and logging in is allowed. If you want any of this feature to suspend then you can click on suspend and if you want to delete this email account then you can click delete email account here. So now let's log in to the email account. So in order to log in, you will have to click on check email and it will open a new page where we will be able to see 
some more details about our email configuration. So we will have to select a webmail application. If you will go a little bit down, then here you will be able to see all the settings for your email account. So for now, let's just click on a webmail application. I will click on the first one. So this is our webmail page looks like and we can see already we have a mail here. Now we have created a mail account. Now let's see whether this is working properly or not. For that, we will send a mail to our public email address. For that, we can click on new message. Under two section, we'll have to type our public email address. I have mentioned mine and under subject, let's give it as a testing and under body section also, let's type it as testing. And once we do that, we'll have to click on send and message testing sent successfully. Now we will go to our public email account and see if we have received any message or not. So as this is the first time, it may take some time to receive the mail. So you will have to refresh the page. So once I refresh the page here, you can see I have received a mail from support at the rate techieblogging.com. This looks like more professional instead of a Gmail or yahoo.com. This proves that we can send mail from our business email account. Now let's send a mail to our business email account. So for that, I will just click on reply and I will mention thank you and click on send. So message has been sent. Now let's go back to our business email account, webmail page. And here also we'll have to wait for some time to receive the mail. So let me refresh the entire page here and uh, then we will see if we have received any mail or not. So here we go. We have received a mail from public email account to the business email account. So this is how we can create business email account for our website. That's all for this video. So once again, don't forget to like the video and share the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video I upload in my channel, you will get a notification immediately. Thank you for watching.